Hey YouTube, today I thought I would talk about uh, O2 selection for Mega Squirt. Uh, in my hand I have a uh, 5 wire uh, Bosch uh, Y band O2 sensor, and on this side I have a uh, 4 wire narrow band universal O2 sensor. Um, when you're creating the fuel maps or the fuel tables, you want to pretty much you you want to use a wideband O2 sensor. If you're running in part throttle closed loop, you'd want a narrow band O2 sensor. At least from my experience, that um, running closed loop um, with a wideband O2 sensor, especially part throttle idle, uh, these things are pretty finicky. So um, I've had a lot of problems with these things kind of going all over the place. Uh, and I've actually tried multiple different wideband. Uh, I currently run a two O twos in my uh, car. One is uh, Innovate LC one, and the other one is a Bosch, similar to this, uh, narrow band. So when I'm, you know, cruising, just doing street driving and and uh, idle to uh, like part throttle, I have the my Omega Square going into closed loop, but I use the narrow band because the narrow band is a lot more reliable uh, for closed loop operation. Um, what you don't, you don't want to use a narrow band when you're programming uh, the tables for uh, like wide open throttle because uh, you know, these things just aren't accurate enough. So anything usually above, uh, I guess it depends on the engine load, but um, yeah, so for, for wide open throttle tuning, use a wide band. For day-to-day -day, uh, closed loop operation for best fuel economy and part throttle drivability, use a uh, narrow band. So that's just my experience from dealing with Megasquirt and different O2 sensors and yeah these these, these wide bands are really finicky at, at, at low RPM operation so you know in the past it's kind of you know it's messed up my fuel tables before you know using O2 because one minute it just it's, I get like a sporadic reading, and it uh, messes up my my table. So um, this is much more reliable for um, closed loop. So but there's also a reason. I mean, most car manufacturers actually run a, a narrow band for closed loop. So um, that's just my opinion. All right, go ahead and try it out. Thanks.